Hey, hello everyone. People keep asking me how do I edit my videos? Well, I keep saying that there's going to be tons of better, to I should say, videos that shows you how to use the tools in the Cyberlink Power Director 8 editor here better than I possibly could, but I'll just try and keep it brief to give you a general idea on, on how I edit my videos. I have a gaming track, which is the game video like that, and I have the voice track, which is just me pointing the camera away from me uh, just to record my video like that. So what I first do is I put the voice track into the timeline like that, then I right click and then click split audio. Uh, and then it'll say, I mean, it'll do a little confirmation, it'll insert the audio, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, so click OK. Then the audio will go here. This is completely mute now. You don't need this video. Uh, so now I'll put the gaming track in there like that, and now you've got the gaming footage. Yeah, I record them both separately, as I've said before, just thought I would re-mention that in this video. And then what I'm going to do here is click on the game video and click Power Tools, Video Crop, Crop Video, um, because what I want to do is... Uh, get the black borders off the edge of the video, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to skip to the next keyframe and duplicate it, so that means the whole video will be black borderless, just like that, and see it crops it right in that video. Now the next thing that I have to do is sync this together. Now what I do to do this is listen to this, listen carefully. Oh wait, 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 actually the next thing I should do is balance the audio, excuse me. So click on this little uh, audio mixing room button here. And in my case, this is this is completely different depending on which video I make or which game video I make. But I always put the voice at 100 because I need to boost my vo the volume of my voice. And then the game video track I have to uh, tweak depending on which video I'm making. In this case, for Mario Sunshine, between like somewhere around 10 to 8 is good for my Mario Sunshine and always make sure that this bar here on the timeline is all the way to the left when you do that so it'll automatically adjust the whole video track at the same time rather than uh, watch us like making a point in the video see that on the uh, thingy down here yeah see that you don't want that so press uh, control Z to cancel if you ever have to do that now listen to this listen to this thing that I do on my voice track you hear that? That's me pressing a button very hard next to the camera to indicate that I'm doing something on screen. In this case, it's unpausing the game. Now, watch what happens on the video up here. See that? You can tell that they're off sync. However, I can sync them up just by that sound alone. So I'm, what I'm going to do is click the uh, voice track here and behind that mark, you see down here, I'm going to split it like that and then right click remove uh, that'll make it easier for me to sync this up and then I'm gonna drag that audio track over to near where the pause was on this timeline here so let's just do that and listen the, the click is a little bit ahead of time so I gotta move it that actually sounded just right there okay now what, what I do here is I uh, cut off the rest of this like this I just highlight the whole sucker like that by dragging these little yellow arrows and then click cut and then the whole thing goes this is for the uh, blue coin side may I add and then I go all the way to the end of this yeah you can resize this timeline just by dragging the numbers left and right like that and then what I do here is I go to the very end of it and cut out the rest that I don't need using that same yellow arrow trick here and that's just the start of it. And what I do here is I go to produce, produce, whatever you want to call it. I was talking like produce, like a, a grocery store for some reason. Then I click on the dot, dot .wmv video thing here. That's Windows Media Video. And then I select Zoom High Quality, which will be 640 by 480. And then I start processing the video like that. Now I have to wait for it to process before I can do any further uh, editing like that. Uh, this is going to take about 39 minutes. I already did this before uh, <laughs> off camera, so I don't really have to show this. But this took about 39 minutes to do so. So I'm not going to show that. So I'm going to cancel the rendering and I'm going to move over to the uh, making of the blue, blue coin boxes.
Okay, so now you've got your video here. This is the complete video that you just made with the uh, blue coins thing, but it's completely boxless whenever I collect blue coins. So now I'm gonna have to start making them. Now you notice that the first one that I collect in here is this one right here at the Guess side of the building. See that? Into a yeah, that's the video that I still have to edit. Now I have to make a blue box for each, or blue coin box for each of these coins. How do I do it? Let's begin. Okay, so what do I first do with my blue coin boxes? The first thing that I do is look up the coin in my guide here. I got a official Nintendo Power Players Guide blah 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 thingy. Well, there's always two pages of uh, blue coin coverage here. And you notice that uh, it, it shows everything, including the episode number and stuff like that, that you can find the coin in. So then I have to match that up to my box. So the first coin that I got was the one next to that building way at the start. So it's not showing on this map. Uh, I think it's I think it's this one right here, number two. See that it's uh, it's an M right against the building there, and then you look on here to check the episode numbers, and then it says scribbled M on the wall, episodes one through eight, and then I got to uh, write that up in the box. If you guessed that I would be using my all-powerful GIMP tool, yep, that's how I do it. Now I've got this right here. I've got a blue coin box here in my uh, video resources. It looks something like this. There's two layers to this box here. You'll notice that this part is transparent, but it's actually on a separate layer than the numbers. Watch this. See this? The numbers are on their own layer like that, and uh, th that's how I am able to edit each of these boxes individually. Now you'll notice that as I said that I have to put those numbers. It was in all the uh, uh, episodes for that first coin so I would just leave it at that but in the case of other episodes what I would have to do is actually take my eraser tool and let's say it was only available in two through eight so I would go ahead and erase that number one like that and then I would type something in this box to type in that box I would go to my text tool I want white text and I'm gonna select the sans bold text I'm gonna drag a box inside that box and then I would type whatever whatever I need inside that box and then I would save it as is to enter into that video uh, this basically is added into it as another video layer uh, I'm gonna show you that when I get back to my video editor alright now I'm back in the video editor let's say that this image that I made the PNG image is the image that I wanted to use. So, you know, I don't have any text in it right now. I'm just making this as a quick video here. Well, as you see on the video, that's about the time when I'm going to collect the coin. So I would drag that in onto pip track number one, and then it'll appear into the video. Um, this, this top track here is considered to be the lowest one. Then you go pip track one, two, three, etc., and they each go higher up, and that indicates which layer is on top of the other. So I'm going to resize this box to put in the corner like that, and you've got your box into the video. Now, then I would go over to the next coin in the video, which is this, which is this over here, and then I would make another box for it. See this other M at the top of the building, and then I would, I might uh, cut through the video, like if I have to, depending on like uh, you'll notice that there is no audio at this point in the, in the track here because I had to leave the area to change episodes at this point, so I will be cutting through this. You know, I'll have to cut this out of the track, and so that's basically how I do my blue coin uh, videos. As you can tell, this takes a lot of time and a lot of work, which is why I don't like doing it, but you kind of have to do it with Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, so I'm just going to end it off here and start on the 100 coin shine. All right, the 100 coin shine is done exactly the same way. I sped this up just by sinking these suckers back together. I, I mean, excuse me, uh, cutting these things ahead of time and uh, can sink them. J well, just imagine that I already synced them ahead of time. Well, now I've got this uh, new box here. Yeah, I, I have a box for pretty much anything here. I've also got a box for just typing stuff into, like a completely blank box like that. I've got a box for the 100 coins that'll tell you, uh, that I'll put in the video that'll say how long. Yes, I did all this stuff custom for the videos, like it took me 13 minutes and 34 seconds to make that, the 100 coin video and stuff like that, and it's basically done the exact same way. 
And uh, if I ever want to merge two points of a video together, like smoothly, without uh, like having a jump cut or something like, I'm just gonna split some of the stuff up here. I already did this ahead of time so I can experiment with this. So let's imagine that I wanted to join this stuff together uh, like that. Now, I want to merge both my voice and the game audio at the exact same time. So I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do that under the current settings. So I have to click this button at the upper left corner, click that edit, then go to preferences, then go to editing, and then click link all tracks and moving or moving content. So that'll basically sync all the tracks together. Um, this reminds me, I should also mention something about the voice track. When I split the audio away from that useless video track and, you know, just use the audio, um, I have to have that box unchecked. Otherwise, I'll remove both the video and the audio at the same time. That's key to it. Anyway, if I want to merge two clips together smoothly, I have to go to the transition room. And I, always, I have my favorites here. I have them all set together. And then drag your favorite one or whichever one you want over to the track like that and then play your video like this. Uh, if you want to play the whole thing at once, you have to click the movie movie button on the movie mode here. Remember that. So I'll click the play button and see how it merges together. See how that works? So you, you gotta make sure that you leave a little bit of leeway between audio tracks, otherwise they'll merge together or just cut out. It takes a little practice to get, but you'll get the hang of it once you try it yourself. And then after I process this video through producing it, then what happens is that I put it together with the blue coin one, uh, and then merge it together with one of those transitions, and then the video's finished. Yes, this takes hours to do. Here's what one looks like. I'm going to go to the Super Mario Sunshine finished ones. I forgot which one of these it is, actually. Um, let me just take a look-see through here. I'm pretty sure I did the 100 coin one like two episodes ago. Let me check this one here. Is this the one that I... Yeah, this is the one that I did the blue coins with. I, I, blue coins and 100 coins with. And then you get something that looks like this. Just see there how the boxes popped up like that? That'll help be how it looks on the uh, video. Now you can also extend the duration of those boxes, like if you go back to the editing and let's put a box in there just for the fun of it, wherever you want to. Um, you can also extend the duration of it just by uh, dragging on the timeline of how long you want that box to be. I have a set default at uh, 4.5 seconds or something like that, I forgot, so that it automatically puts it at the correct uh, duration every time. Um, I've also got boxes for, <laughs> yeah, more boxes. The menu button boxes, you know, like uh, at the end of a part, I have the level select and mission select buttons. Yeah, I put those at the end of a part. It's, it's all really simple and all done in layers. It's just really, really time consuming and a lot of micromanaging. But uh, once you play around with the power director, you'll understand what I mean on how to do this stuff. And uh, I hope this helps you a little bit. And I'll see you later. Enjoy making videos.